this isn't how you imagined you'd find me. Everything came back to me when you found that grave. Like a flood. To think I was keeping the truth from myself for all that time. It's amazing what the human mind is capable of. Eva, you're alive. I wouldn't call it alive. I guess it's complicated. Complicated? I told you to leave. You ignored me. What's complicated about that? I want you to end this once and for all. I want you to unplug me. You owe me. Eva, why? Why? Uh, for starters, I don't even know what I am, the cholera. You're my sister. So what? It's just a label. It doesn't mean anything. You know? No one ever asked me if I wanted any of this. Every single decision was his, not mine. He was my father, but he used me as one of his experiments. And you know what the worst part is? He left me here. But he didn't even have the guts to end it. And now you're acting just like him. Eva, it's not like that. Listen, I don't care about the past. From the moment you left me, all I cared about was saving you. This might actually be the first time someone did something just for me. And I really, really appreciate that. But what I'm asking of you is an act of mercy. Something only a true friend can understand. Eva, tell me, what will happen to you if I agree? Well, that depends on what you believe happens when someone dies. What do you think? You will meet all the people who died before you. That doesn't sound too bad, does it? I think you're ready. Ready for what? To make the decision. I want you to know... ...that I'll accept your decision no matter what it is. I will do it. Eva? I'm here. Thank you, Shimon. It's a relief to know my fate is settled. But that leaves us with you. What are you going to do? I want to stay here. What do you think? I hope you tear this place apart and build it from the ground up. This place needs a purge. Nothing good can be built on death and deceit. So, what's your final decision, Shimon? I will stay here. I really hope you have it easier than I ever did. Goodbye, brother. <laughs>